Hello, and some breaking news this afternoon. A new potential COVID-19 vaccine has been announced. The jab is said to be 94.5% effective and is being produced in the United States by the biotech firm Moderna. Well, let's go straight to Sky's Ashna Hurunag, who is in the newsroom for us. Uh, Ashna, this is uh, good news on top of last week's good news. What do we know about this latest vaccine? It's good news for sure, Jane, in the form that this is much more effective effective 94.5 percent effective in fact which is much more than the pfizer and biontech one that we heard about last week where theirs we now know is more than 90 percent effective early results are showing for there but crucially for this moderna vaccine this is not one that's been bought by the uk yet we've got six others in our stockpile including the oxford astrazeneca vaccine and also this pfizer one as well but moderna who are based in the U us have got vaccines really in supply mostly for the United States. The United States have already purchased 100 million doses of this particular one. What's interesting about it is that it can be stored at a much lower temperature, a much higher temperature, I should say. Minus 20 is all it needs to be stored in, to be distributed in, which makes it much more easier to farm out and roll out when it comes to uh, that vaccine being administered. The other good thing about it is it can be kept at that freezer temperature for 30 days, and that's a drastic difference to the farm. Pfizer one, that Pfizer vaccine has to be kept at minus 80 degrees and you can only, only imagine how difficult that is to transport around the country in freezers that keep uh, those vaccinations at minus 80 degrees. So some key differences here. Moderna's vaccine appears to be uh, much more effective, 94.5%, but it's also easier from what it appears to be to distribute and crucially the UK hasn't got access to any of them yet. But there are so there is some good news for the UK in the form of another pharmaceutical giant which has produced another vaccine which is entering human trials. Uh, Janssen or Johnson & Johnson, a German company, are currently uh, putting their vaccine forward for human trials, much in the same way that we've seen now the Oxford and AstraZeneca uh, vaccine going through similar human trials. What this company are hoping to do, Janssen, is recruit about 6,000 volunteers by March next year and their trial will last 12 months. Earlier we spoke to the chief scientific officer for Janssen and here's what he had to say on how promising this other vaccine could be. We start manufacturing as we speak. Of course, uh, we have to get the approval from the government, uh, from the regulators in the world to start distributing. But we have uh, manufactured already our first batches of this vaccine in our plants. We have probably five to 10,000 people worldwide on this at the moment working day in, day out, weekend in, week out. And it's not just us. It's also the clinical investigators, for example, recruiting people over the weekend, the regulators who give responses on our documents within days, sometimes even hours. So everyone who is working in this space scientifically at the moment has an extreme commitment. We know we can do it. It's a matter now of, of speed and time to get there in order to be able to give, um, give relief to people from this pandemic and that we can put it behind us very quickly. Immunisation experts say it's really important that we have a number of vaccines to play with and that we do trial and test as many as possible. That's because we don't know if one particular vaccine is able to work for people of all ages, for all, pop all sorts of the population, but also we don't know whether one vaccine at pharmaceutical supplier is able to supply enough, a large enough supply, to, to, to take on the whole of the UK. Crucially for this Janssen one, if approved, if, if proven to be effective, we could have 30 million doses here in the UK being distributed uh, by mid-2021.